I need to figure out how to pipe in the game audio directly into uh, into Streamlabs, so I'm not using overall desktop audio, because right now I've got a lot of, I don't have the game audio, because I have a lot of other audio playing in the background. time. Yep, got it. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit of uh, char bag fall, you know, farming. This is my uh, perma pre-searing character. Um, I started a uh, a new uh, legendary defender of Ascalon slash survivor I should say true survivor uh, Mesmer on my alternate account. Unfortunately, I lost her yesterday. I, she died at the hands of the char. So I, um, so I'm restarting her. The problem is, is, uh, I deleted my initial Mesmer, uh, who lost her survivor toddler and she had her char, the char bags on her. And I didn't realize that, like, oh shoot, meaning I trashed char bags. So I feel a bit of an idiot about that. Let's see. <clears throat> it's actually been a little while since I've been on this my uh, my warrior I'm not too worried I mean Although, if I want to make this really easy, I do also have... Oh, apparently when I was farming, I was going to say I have a uh, the fire imp that I can pull out, but I guess I have not pulled that out on this character. So when I was doing all this farming originally, 
I must have been doing it the hard way. Hey, Guild Wars Girl hosting me. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, I am honored. And I'm also getting killed. It's, it's been a long time since I've been on my, my, my warrior here, so it's, uh, it's a little ugly. Oh, you know what? Is my pet here? Oops. I don't want to break out the fire imp because I'm trying to get my uh... hey there you are I'm trying to uh, remember how I play on my uh, perma pre warrior it's a little bit bumpy which is kind of weird because I'm playing I'm playing my warrior monk or my I should say my monk warrior on my new stream on my Sunday stream, so the sword attacks are not unknown to me, but just like using it with the pet and everything is like, ah, how do these buttons work? So I don't know how long I'm on right now. Oops. Um, There's a, another streamer, Lady Talks A Lot, that I've been following. She was talking about maybe... Uh, I was actually originally in her channel trying to help her out. She seems to be having some streaming issues, though. So I offered to be a raid target for her. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll be on. Although, I don't have any... Actually... Actually, I do have something I'll need to be at in about half an hour, so I'm probably not going to be on too long, I'm afraid. But that should be enough for, I think, two char bag runs. Assuming I don't die. Oh, I need to have my heels up. Oops. Can I get him? Oh, that whole time my pet wasn't attacking. Man, my attention, it, it's the morning. I blame the morning. <laughs> I can't. Uh... Oh, I haven't died yet. You know. All right, now, pet is in attack mode. I am going to heal myself. Okay, and I also don't have the game audio running because I do have, uh, I am still listening to Lady in the, in the background here, so. Uh, I should actually probably host her, come to think of it. Let me, uh, All right. Rusty. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, this is unusual. Uh, oh, man. And also embarrassing as hell because it's like I have not played on this. Uh, okay, I'm getting lift. Char bag. Yes, that is exactly what I was here for. Rusty for the follow. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that truly. You, you are. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, you're one of the uh, Guild Wars hubs. Oh, saving that follow for that moment. That was a good moment. It 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 came along with the char bag, so that was that was good. I, I appreciate that timing. Yeah, 
I'm on actually only on here really for about another half hour. I've got something I have to do another half hour. Uh, but you may recall yesterday I mentioned in chat that I I lost my uh, mesmer that I was going for LDOA survivor. I she died to the char here. I got and it was totally my fault. I got overconfident. So I deleted her and restarted. But I did not realize when I deleted her, she still had char bags on her that I had gifted her from my other account. So I tra so I ended up trashing uh, two char bags <laughs> along with her. And I was like, oh no. So, so the char bag farm is back. So, and it's also a good, you know, quick thing. It just, uh, I was level eight. Yeah, I was. Which, I mean, isn't a huge loss. I mean, the level eight wasn't a huge loss. Losing the char bags was honestly the bigger loss. Um, man, my pet. Ah, I'm, I'm just, it, it's the morning. I'm not good with the, uh, the management, management here. But yeah, losing the char bags actually kind of hurt worse. It was an extra hurt on top of losing the uh, the Mesmer. But, you know, the Mesmer, like I said, she's... She was only level 8. It doesn't take that long to get back to that. Um, but I'm happy now. I've got at least one char bag that I, that I can gift back to my new Mesmer. She's already up at like level, you know, four or something, you know, from when I started her again last night. So it'll start to go quickly. There was one run. I did a run of this stuff like about a month or so ago, and I actually managed to get two char bags at once. Uh, I'm also, oops. I'm also, uh, I've forgotten what I was even going to say. <laughs> yeah, I managed to get two char bags a while back, and that was pretty awesome. But uh, I have no expectation. Two hours of char, char at the gate, and you're level eight. Yeah. I'm I actually not... Uh, that level of farming... That level of dedication, I don't quite have, you know, for the repetition, the grind of it. I just start to go, you know, my eyes just kind of start to glaze over. And However, on my Ranger, on, on my uh, on my other account, I do also have an LDOA Ranger. Oh, inventory full. And I did not get... A second char bag. Well, that's fine. One char bag is is good. I'll call that good. I do have Farmer Hammett uh, loaded up on my Ranger, and I don't do when I do that one. I don't do like just the two. I actually run up into the mountain because there's kind of a group of them up there. So I I have a mini circuit that I will do there, and that's just long enough that it holds my attention a bit better. Even so, I, I could only do maybe, you know, seven or eight runs of that before my eyes start to glaze over a bit. Well, I am happy to have one char bag that will show up on my other account later on. And I might even have time for two more runs, come to think of it. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Clear out. I don't have all that much stuff. Marathon I did last time was right for, that's right because you did you did it for what like five hours the farmer Hammett thing, and I think I remember you saying you you got it like uh, you got several levels out of it. But when I heard you were at it for like five hours, I was like, oh man, that's, I mean, 
I have I'm kind of torn between respect and pity. <laughs> and don't take that the wrong way. I was just like, oh man, I'm sorry, dude. That's that hurts. Oh, hey, I'm out of I'm out of salvage. Um, uh, more salvage. Bye. Goodbye. Oh yeah, no, no. oh no, this is my primary account. I was about to say, hey, yeah, you know, I'm poor on my alt alternate account in post, but look how much money I've got here. No, this is my main account. My actually, who my how much money do I have on my main account? Oops. Six platinum in, in pre-searing. A sixteen to twenty in five hours. I'll take both. <laughs> Both sentiments. <laughs> yeah. Now, did I hear you? I think you said something the other day that you were thinking of doing another one and you were going to... Was that you that uh, you were thinking of doing another one and you are like, okay, yeah, once I get Farmer Hamnet, that's, that, that's the thing. Because I was like, oh man, after that five-hour session doing it again if that was you Rusty you're a madman I, I, I gotta say I respect it um, me my, my LDOAs and survive they're, they're gonna be much considerably slower um, my ranger was uh I did like what 10 you know like eight or nine or ten runs of that little farmer hammock mini circle that I do but and that only got me like half half a level <laughs> so uh, let's see Monday the thirteenth, doing it all over again. Do you already have a uh, a character lined up, like at level ten, ready to go, or are you uh, are you going to partner up with someone who's uh, who's already got the quest active? This is always a little bit of a race. Can't oh no, those guys are coming out fast. These guys, usually I can cross before those guys come out, but not this time. I'll admit, I do feel a little silly because I could and probably should have the Fire Imp out. But uh, when I was first doing this character, honestly, I just completely forgot that the Fire Imp was a thing. So, uh, so I just learned how to do this without the fire. And, but again, it's been so long, I've forgotten exactly how careful I need to be. And again, I'm, if you've ever, you know, caught any of my, you know, stuff before, I like to give myself unreasonable challenge, you know, stupid challenges, <laughs> you know, so this time... So the challenge for this has just been, just do it without the Fire Imp. Mesmer, level 8 so far. Then I'll play a couple hours a day to reach level 10. Getting a ready for Monday. I make you want to do Warrior. Really? Really? <laughs> warrior, uh... I, I actually like Warrior. I went through this big phase. Oh, hang on. Ah, hang on. Sorry, I got. Uh, hunters still, even at level twenty, hunters can hurt. You get too many of them, they build up. All right, now it's now it's all good. Now we're under control. Yes, do warrior. Hey, Andrina. Welcome in. I'm uh, I'm just doing a little char bag farming because uh, because yesterday I lost my I lost my mesmer 
my Survivor Mesmer that I was going for in pre LDOA Survivor Mesmer. So I trashed her, but I forgot before I trashed her that she had char bags on her. <laughs> so I, I trashed the char bags too. Oops. Pet attack. Oops. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm repeatedly ordering things, I know. I tend to, sp I'm, a, I'm a button spammer, I, I admit. Oh my, can I do it? All right. That was a little close. <laughs> First time viewer from, was it Kral? Hello, welcome to the stream. I don't know how much you've heard, but this is a relatively quick, just a little bit of char, uh, char farming. I actually have somewhere to be in about 20, min 20 minutes or so. But welcome, welcome to the chat, welcome to the group. Uh, for me, it is nine o'clock in the morning here and my head is not screwed on tight. You may have been able to tell uh, based on some of the things I'm doing and not doing in here. Yeah, rest in peace, char bags, exactly. And I didn't even, re I didn't realize that until this morning, honestly. I trashed her last night and I woke up this morning. I was like, wait a minute. I had char bags on her. Oh, no. It's okay. I actually like, I actually quite like uh, char bag farming. I like this farm. Oops. It helps to have a sword equipped. It's just kind of a nice, you know, fast-ish thing. You know, each run is like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, depending how you go. I just re-downloaded Guild Wars today and plan on enjoying it after an eight-year break. Hey, yeah, uh, join the club, man. Uh, that is pretty much... That's pretty much my story as well. Rusty, uh, Rusty Drapes here in the chat. He's a similar, similar case. It seems, it feels like there's a lot of us that, yeah, we put the game down years ago, but uh, are just kind of suddenly coming back for whatever reason. The primary reason, I'm, of course, is it's a good game. It's a great game, you know. So. Uh, So yeah, well, well, welcome in. And uh, also going to give a shout out to uh, Rusty uh, Kral. I don't know if you're already following Rusty Drapes, but you should. He is a very regular Guild Wars 1 streamer. Uh, he tends to stream in the afternoons. Um, first time chat from RGPT. How old am I? I'm old. <laughs> I'm 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 one of the older Guild Wars players in here. I'm I'm old enough to where I have to do the math. I have to sit and do the math. I'm like, how old am I? I am 48 years old. So uh the monk is back there. Yeah, okay. This will, this will be fine. Hey, come back here, pet. When I tell you to heal, you should heal. Yeah, when I first started playing the game, I was what? Oh shoot, there's that patrol I didn't get. Oh, uh, well, we might be able to. Oops, switch to sword. We might be able to get this guy without. <laughs> he hurt. But yeah, guild, you know, coming back to Guild Wars, character looks kind of like you. Yeah, except for the whole female thing. Although, honestly, if I looked like that, I, I take that as a compliment. You know, if I grew my hair out, you know, I, in my younger days, I might have been able to pull off a cosplay like that. Don't look a day over 35, good sir. I appreciate that. The uh, the tiny video screen helps. 
you know, the small presence in, in screen hides a lot. <laughs> I think he looks two days over 35. Every, everybody, uh, everybody chatting me up in the stream here, man. This is, this, this is awesome. Um, there's a patrol there that I want to get, and I know they're going to, here they come. A momentary pause while we wait for patrol. What other games do I play? Warcraft 3. I'm afraid I do not play Warcraft. Uh, back in the day, I had a... Uh, when I first got Guild Wars, I kind of had the choice between World of Warcraft or Guild Wars. And I didn't know anything about either of the games, honestly. And I kind of hemmed and hawed around each one. Wasn't sure what to get. Until finally, I took the plunge, went into Guild Wars. Uh, actually, what it was was I was at the store once, and I op uh, the Guild Wars box had a little insert you could open up, and there was this really cool picture of a ranger shooting at a bone dragon, and that was what sold me on the game. I was like, yeah, that's that that's the kind of you know fantasy stuff I, I want to be doing. I want to be shooting at skeletal dragons. That, that looks cool. So, and, uh, bought the game, played it hard for a couple of weeks. I got lost in post-searing Ascalon and got a little depressed by the whole, uh, the whole sepia tone stuff. And I actually put the game down for a month or two. But then I picked it back up. I got to Yaxband, and once I had that change of scenery, I was like, yes, okay. I am reinvigorated on this game. And then I played it solidly for, you know, a good five or six years. So, what do I do outside of gaming? Sadly, work. I'm old enough to where when I'm not playing, I'm working. I do like movies, you know. <laughs> it's called The Art of Conversation. It is. It is. I do apologize because I can get a little distracted in here since, again, I'm feeling... It is the morning here and I don't have my head screwed on entirely tight. Okay, pet is attacking. Switch to sword. Switch to sword. Thank you. <laughs> I was considering trying out World of Warcraft, but would prefer not to run the risk of getting sucked into a game. I know Guild Wars 1 I could play for a bit and put down. That was the other thing, along with the really cool picture of uh, Ranger versus Bone Dragon. I uh, That was the other thing, was I wasn't, I didn't like the idea of buying a game that I did, that I hadn't tried, and then potentially having to play a subscription on top of it. I mean, now I have played subscription games since, you know, if a game appeals, but uh, at the time, it was kind of my first time out, and I wasn't really sure. It's like, ah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about that kind of commitment. So again, Guild Wars One fit fit the bill that, uh, at that point. All right. Hey, I think I got everything all in line that time. Did I play? Oh. Oh, asking Kral if he played. Yeah, I also played a. Uh, that was actually about the time I stopped playing Guild Wars 1 was when Guild Wars 2 came out as a common story for a lot of people. Actually, hang hang on one moment. All right. I think... I had uh, turned off my desktop audio, so we're not getting any game audio because I was getting a lot of other stuff in the background and I but I just turned off all the other stuff and I turned on the game audio but it's not Oh, hang on. Did I do something really? No, don't log out. Did I do something really? Yeah. Oh, no. It's coming through the speakers and not yeah. 
Oh, well, sorry. I won't be able to. Uh, oops. Hang on. I have found. I don't know if it's just me and my setup, but uh, if I launch the game before I have my headphones uh, linked, the audio will not load properly in Guild Wars. It's really. It's really weird. Oops. Uh, attack. Oh, you can hear it? Oh, weird. Oh, and I am not on my sword. <laughs> I I hope I'm at least providing a lot of unintentional comedy here. Like, dude, you're not pressing your buttons. <laughs> so many buttons. Let's see. Oh, I see what's going on in, in chat. Uh, maybe a little recognition between Kral and... RGPT and Rusty. I wanted to play casually, and now I stream every day for several hours. Yep, that is true. As I mentioned before, uh, if you are into having some uh, Guild Wars 1 uh, TV, Rusty uh, is, usually, is good for a couple of hours in the afternoon, pretty regularly. Ah... There's nothing to do in Guild Wars 2 except for PvP and to keep playing. We could not anymore. Yeah, what I think oh, with the audio, yeah, I think what you heard before was I can turn the audio up and it comes through my game, my uh, speakers, my physical speakers, which is right next to the microphone. So you're not getting a direct audio feed. You're getting, you know, you're getting ambient audio. <laughs> as opposed to true audio. So, uh, didn't want to play Guild Wars 2 because they have unranked season for three or four weeks now. I'm afraid, oh, we do not have, oh, I'm repeatedly, I'm repeatedly pushing buttons, apparently, that I do not need, oh well. Like I mentioned before, I'm, I'm a button pusher. I was, yeah, PvP. I was never much of a PvP player. I did enjoy uh, alliance battles. Lady talks a lot is raiding with 10. Hey, welcome everybody. Um, I was in a Lady talks a lot stream earlier. Um, uh, she was having uh, some te technical issues, but welcome everybody. I am uh, Alila Kit, or I, I am not so much as my characters in, in game are. It's just a random, you know, bit of phonetics that I just cooked up when I first made my game. First time chat from viewer Eagle Nightbot timed out Dweller B. <laughs> okay. I apologize to you, Dweller B. I just recently got Nightbot set up on this chat, so and I don't have it dialed, so I am gonna have to uh, <laughs> I am gonna have to apologize uh, for Nightbot. Uh, Nightbot Dweller B, stop. Nightbot or Dweller B, I appreciate I appreciate the enthusiasm that you are apparently showing but cannot see because my night bot is apparently overzealous at the moment. Lady talks a lot. Hey, thank, thank you very much for the raid. I, I, I appreciate it. Um, I've, I've been in your stream a, a time or two. Oh, Dweller B is following in spite of Nightbot censoring him. <laughs> I, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that follow. Hello, Lady talks a lot. Uh, I feel bad now. Honestly, because uh, you, I mean, you, you, you were going to raid. I just realized that I'm going to have to jump out soon as well. Eagle is now following. Hey, Eagle. Thank you very much for the follow. Eagle, you're, you're a dervish man, if I recall, uh, from watching some of the other streams. <laughs> no, no worries. Just hype emotes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dwell That's right. Dweller B. I have seen your hype emotes in, in other streams. I, I appreciate that. Um, Lady Talks a lot. Thanks for coming in and helping me with the quests and stuff. You know, I 
I am happy to do it. That's actually one of the things I love. What and uh, I love finding you know Guild Wars one players uh, on on Twitch, and in a way, kind of the newer the better. Uh, I I like helping people out. You know, maybe you know giving some pointers. Now that's not to say that I'm a good player or even know everything. I've actually put a lot of things in chat in other pe uh, other streamers chat. There's actually in, has been incorrect and other chatters will call me out like, uh, actually, Alila, that's kind of wrong or uh, that's out of date, man. I'm like, ooh, sorry. Which, by the way, for everyone, if I say something, it's like, oh, yeah, Guild Wars, you do this. You know, do not be shy about calling me out because as uh, uh, my information is, you know, probably outdated, you know, and or just flat out wrong, <laughs> you know. I I I am uh, uh, quite often wrong. Um, so let's see. Good eagle, good memory on dervish. Yes, I figured. I remember two players. There's eagle is dervish, and begotten is paragon. So I know you you two guys. You know, <laughs> you know. Every now and then, go 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 for each other. It's like I understand it happens. Eagle is the only dervish. Well, now, Rusty, you were playing dervish a bit uh, the other night in Underworld, if I recall. So, Dweller B, best game ever. Guild Wars 1. Honestly, I mean, for me, looking back, like, over the course of my life, I mean, I'm an old... I had an Atari 26... I'm from the Atari 2600 days. Hell, I remember Intellivision. Um, and Vectrex. You know, so I had like Nintendo Entertainment System. I, I had a lot of that stuff. But honestly, Guild Wars 1, the most bang for the buck I've ever had. Because once I got it, I played it for five or six years solid before I put it down for, you know, eight or nine years. And I'm back now, uh, which is a similar story that a lot of other uh, Guild Wars 1 streamers have. Having. Rusty in the, in the chat is, is one uh, like it. And uh, as are a number of other people. And uh, so, not everyone spamming emotes is my fave. You're gonna have to fix that setting. I I will I I will see if I can get Nightbot under control there, lady. All good. Not everyone is an expert. You should still advise. <laughs> the game holds up. It does hold up. You know, honestly, the art style they chose is fantastic. You know, they didn't try. And this is actually something I do like in games in general is when they don't try to be photorealistic. You know that there's like a directed art style to it. It's, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that. And it's it's like, you know, Nintendo games. It's like they go, you know, the kind of, and Pixar movies. It's like you get a cartoonier, more stylized thing. It has more longevity to it. You know, it's got more life to it. So... So much to do in Guild Wars One except fishing. I'm I, I I might make a lot of MMO players mad right now. I never got fishing. I I you know I mean by all means if you enjoy enjoy fishing in game, you know, go do your thing. I never really understood the appeal myself. <laughs> but but uh anyway. Yeah, actually I have uh I was looking yesterday, it's like, what is there to do? Because I played for five or six years, you know, back in the day, and I got God Walking with Mere Mortals on my primary character, a ranger. Um, and I put it down when Guild Wars 2 came out. When I came back in, I was like, what is there to do? Well, one of the first things I realized was this, that there's the rune of superior holding that I can put on bags with the Zeishin coins. So I'm like, okay, well, Zeishin farming is a thing I'm going to have to do. Um, and then there's like a number of titles still to do, and there's, I've, I've found a load of things to do. Uh, oh, I actually, uh, I guess that leads me into, I've got five minutes left, enough to do, finally kind of do my intro, uh, as I've mentioned, and this is really scattered, I'm sorry, it's the morning, my brain is not screwed on, but, uh, as mentioned before, played five years, was absent for almost ten years, back recently, and uh, me streaming right now is a very unusual thing. I, I usually don't stream in the mornings. I've, I do have a pretty set schedule. I usually stream on the weekends. 
uh, on Saturdays. Since coming back after you know 10 years, my Saturday program is kind of, my favorite content was Eye of the North Dungeons. So coming back after 10 years, do I still remember anything about these dungeons? Can I do them? How quickly will I die? Can I do them in hard mode? You know, all, all of these questions. So I usually pick one dungeon, you know, sometimes two dungeons, uh, and try to run them on, on Saturdays uh, with varying degrees of success uh, so far. Actually, no, I've, beat, I've beaten them all, but I have had to dial back down to normal mode on a number of them, sadly. Uh, but then on my Sunday stream, I have a secondary account that's completely new, you know, no account-wide skill unlocks, no, you know, no heroes from Nightfall, no nothing. And just starting a new player, new character from scratch. And in that case, the character is a monk primary with a warrior secondary because I thought it would be amusing to flip the script on uh, the classic build was always a, a warrior primary and a monk secondary, the old whammo builds. So I kind of, it's like, well, hmm, if I did the opposite, if I did a monk primary and a warrior secondary, I'd still be able to balance adrenaline and energy, but I would have, you got that frenzy? I think I did take frenzy out for a drive once. Regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would happen, um, but uh, actually, I don't know if I brought out Frenzy, because I know what Frenzy does. You know, Frenzy hooks you with that first line, and then buries you with the second line. It's like, do double, do, you know, more damage at the cost of, you know, taking double damage, you know. It's like, how come I'm playing in pre-searing? But you got mending, you're safe, yeah. Uh, I'm about to close the stream. Right now, I'm in pre-searing. This is, uh, I was just doing uh, some char bag farming. And I did manage to get one char bag uh, earlier. Uh, on my secondary account, I also have another character I'm working on. It's a Mesmer that is going for some titles, is going for the combination of Legendary Defender of Ascalon and Legendary Survivor. And... Sadly, I lost her yesterday. I got a little overconfident with her, with, uh, you know, fighting the char. Uh, she was level 8. She had a good life. But, uh, and I know I can still get Survivor even if she dies. You know, I, I just have to go that much longer. But I kind of wanted to be a purist. I wanted to, like, you know, no, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trash her. I'll, I'll rebuild her and go from scratch. But I forgot that she had char bags atta uh, attached to her when I deleted her. So I accidentally deleted her and her char bags. So, and her char bags were a gift from my secondary account. So, <laughs> so I'm back, you know, farming some more char bags for her. <laughs> Was she hot? I guess. Um, actually, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the Mesmer faces, at least in prophecies. <laughs> Oh, darn. Yeah. Oh, very good then. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm afraid I need to jump out here. Ooh, uh, almost immediately. I, I apologize for the, uh, for the abruptness. Um, but I'm going to see... Thank you again, lady, for the raid. I'm going to see if I can pass some of that raid love on to somebody else. Um... Let's see if there's any other... We're, we're just going to ping pong all the Guild Wars 1 players around. Let's see who's 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 going right now. Rusty, is Dinichu uh, doing stuff? <laughs> Let's see. I, I tend to raid other Guild Wars 1 players. Uh, I do not know... Sorry, I just got pinged by. Oh, here we. Oh, that. Let's see. Here, home night quest. Oh, he's got three viewers here. We shall do him. Maybe, perhaps I should. I should rephrase that. 
Anyway, uh, thank you everyone for coming in, even if only uh, briefly. I, I appreciate uh, the raid and the views and, and the follows. Uh, thank you everyone for the follow. Wait, don't do Nightquist, that dude is a douche. <laughs> really? Really? Ah. Well, let's see. Although I don't know. I don't know that. Um, actually, here's someone is doing uh, Underworld. What man? GW. <laughs> okay. Well, here, here, here's a raid to a guy who's doing. Looks like he's doing something in Underworld. So, uh, oops. That raid did not work. Let's try this. Oh, it's giving me raid troubles. It's not allowing me to, uh, it's not allowing me to raid. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. I don't know, the raid command is not working. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put up my stream ending thing and then I will try to raid from a different channel. I'll turn off my uh, camera and see if I can get it working. I apologize if this raid thing does not work, uh, but hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get it working off stream. And, Ru and Rusty, catch you all later in the game. Yeah, uh, Rusty does afternoon streams and uh, he's going to be doing some uh, stuff. Was it Tomb of the Primeval Kings later on today? Uh, that would be cool. I actually might join in for that. So uh, anyway, uh, I'll try the raid thing. If not, uh, here's here's my closing screen. Thanks uh, for coming along, even if only briefly, everyone. We'll see you later.